Hey again everyone, I'm Kai Down, and today I'm going to be running through everything there is to know about the brand new Amped Icon. To those that don't know me, I'm the customer support representative and the QA tester at ML Sound Lab, so it's fair to say that I've had a good amount of time with this plugin already. Now this amp is based on a modern variant of one of the most well respected amps in metal. It's got four channels, clean, overdrive, high gain and a burn channel. The burn channel is a pretty magical thing, it's like pushing the gain on the high gain channel up beyond 10. So let's talk about the features of the amp and then we'll dive in and hear some tones. Firstly you've got an input and output knob, these control your gain levels either side of the plugin. Then you've got a gain knob in the plugin itself, now this is for the saturation of the amp. Then the master knob controls how hot you're pushing the amp. When you have this master set low, it's tight, it's dry and it's articulate, and when you have it set high, it's super powerful, thick and warm. For the EQ section, you've got a typical three band EQ of bass, middle and treble. Then you've got a resonance to control the lower mids and a presence to control the high end. As for the features outside of the amp, you've got a pedal board section containing a noise gate, a compressor, a drive pedal, chorus, delay and reverb. You've got MIDI control if you're wanting to use this live or just wanting to switch between tones. You've got a full skeuomorphic cabinet section that lets you move microphones around the speaker. You've got a tuner and lastly, new for Amped Icon, we've got this Vorna switch. The Vorna switch cuts down some of the CPU usage on the plugin with a minimal effect on the tone. For the guitars in this demo, I'm using my Solar Guitars A1.6 FBB29. This is a 29 inch scale six string baritone with an ever-tuned bridge. It's currently tuned to drop E with Winspear's 15 to 80 gauge strings. One of my favorite things about this plugin is just how good it sounds when you boot it up. When you first load it up, it'll load into the Icon high gain channel on the 555-5555 preset, and this is how it sounds. <laughs> Flicking through the rest of the presets on the high gain channel, we've got the Rock Legend preset. Now this one's super bright and articulate, and it's great for chordy riffs on the higher strings. Next up we've got the Modern Metal preset. Now this one is going to be perfect for that entire genre of metal built around the Doomsday riff. Lastly, for the high gain channel, we've got Metalcore 2023. This one's pretty similar to the modern metal preset, though it's a little bit tighter, brighter, and more articulate. Now let's tweak the preset to fit drop E a little better. For drop E I'd usually want to bump the presence up a touch, maybe turn down the bass and turn up the mids a little. Now that's sounding a lot better but I'm going to dive into the cabinet section and take this even further. To give you an idea of how the cabinet section works, we've got two different speakers to choose from, the Ed VH and the Mega Gen. We've also got four different microphones, the Dynamic 57, the Ribbon 121, the Ribbon 160, and the Dynamic 421. There's three different axes you can move the mics on. You can move them left and right and back and forth by clicking and dragging, and you can also use the scroll wheel on your mouse to angle them. Now we're going to flick the mix slider over to the left so that we can hear what this 421 is doing. Now I'm hearing quite a lot of high frequency whistling going on with this microphone. Now this is natural for the 421 mic and you do need a certain degree of it to cut through a mix, but I think we can curb this one slightly. Let's move the mic a little further from the center. Yeah. 
Now that's definitely getting towards where we want to be, but let's switch over to the Mega Gen Cab and hear what that sounds like. <laughs> Now that sounds a lot smoother to me, so let's stick with that one. Now we're going to quickly hear what the 160 sounds like. Again, I'm hearing just a little bit of harshness there, so we're going to pull it further away from the centre of the speaker and maybe angle it in. Now we'll blend between the two microphones to find the right balance. Now we've already got this sounding pretty great, but just for curiosity's sake, I want to hear what it sounds like with some impulse responses. Now you can use most impulse responses in this, but for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to be using ML SoundLab cab packs. Using the speaker drop down, we're going to hit load custom IR. Then I'm going to find my Mars Mofo cab pack, and from there I think I'm going to pick the 57C. Let's put the mix slider all the way over to this so we can hear what that's doing. <laughs> Now that's sounding super aggressive, super pokey and really nice, but it is missing a little bit of that low end power, so we'll compensate for that with another speaker on the right hand side. For this I'm going to load up the Blackback 121B. Now I'm thinking the 121B might be too deep for this. So let's try something else. We'll go for the 184C instead. Now that one's got a much more pleasant lower mid going on, which means that it should complement really nicely with the 57 we've already got set up. Now we're going to blend between the Blackback and the Mofo. Hopefully we'll see a point where all the attributes that I want from either side of the speaker are being represented how I want them to. So we want the black back to be holding down that thick, powerful lower mids, while we've got the mofo tackling all of the aggressive high end. Now that is exactly how I wanted that to go, I am so happy with how that sounds. Now switching over to the clean amp we've got four more presets to check out, the first of which being this sparkly clear preset. With the pickup selector on my guitar set to the split neck position, I find that this gives a really nice late 2000s clean tone. Now I'm probably going to get attacked for saying this while I'm holding a solar, but this is perfect for those Paramore style clean tones. <laughs> Next for the presets we've got my favourite, and possibly my favourite clean tone we've ever done, this Ambient Dream preset. The Ambient Dream preset is one that I've been getting a ton of use out of. It's perfect for those suspenseful gent intros, as well as layering over verses and choruses. <laughs> Now 
Next up for the clean tones, we've got the compressed clean preset. Now, while this isn't particularly well optimized for a droppy guitar, it does sound quite nice when you're using the bridge position split. I find that it really tames some of the harsher pick attack. <laughs> Lastly, we've got a preset that really isn't optimized for droppy at all. It's a retro rotary preset. Okay, now let's take a look at the Icon Overdrive channel. Firstly, we've got the non-British rock preset. From what I can tell, this is trying to push an American amp into that British crunch sound. I like this one a lot. There's not too much saturation to it, so you can get really nice note clarity. Now this grungy low gain preset is a similar vibe to this, though it's a lot warmer and lends itself quite nicely to the bigger chords. The Space Echo preset is a massive cavernous reverb sound. Lastly, for the overdrive channel presets, we've got this maximum overdrive. Now this does what it says on the tin, the gain control on the amp is flat out. Now I like this preset boosted even further with the drive pedal, though we are going to have to bring up the noise gate to compensate. We're also going to boost the presence with this one, just like we did with the high gain channel. This just gives a little bit more bite, especially in drop E. Now let's hop into the cabinet section and hear what each of the cabs is doing on this tone. Now the 57 does sound great, but the low notes are starting to flub out a little, so let's pull this one a little bit closer to the center. Now the 121 is holding down the low end quite nicely on this one, so we might be able to pull that 57 even closer to the center when we start blending them. Now we can really hear the bite of the 57 with the thickness of the 121.
Now it's time to dive into the mysterious burn channel. This Shred Cheetah preset gives you a ton of extra sustain, making it super easy to play through. <laughs> Next is the Fusion Solo preset. This one will give you a ton of clarity, especially when you're playing solos on the bridge pickup. <laughs> Now, the Sludge Dread preset is really where we're starting to get into the magic of the burn channel. This almost has a fuzz-like sound, and you can hear the amp really being pushed to its limits. Lastly for the presets is this Amp on Fire preset. This is the burn channel boosted with the game pedal. Now this one's a lot tighter than the Sludge Dread preset and it works really nicely for single note riffs. Now that we've run through all of the different presets, let's hear how this one sounds in the context of a full mix. Okay, now let's get into some cool MIDI stuff. I'm not going to go fully in depth with it, but I'll give you a brief overview into what's happening. Firstly, the PC messages are predefined preset changes, where PC0 to PC9 are the first 10 amps of the first channel, PC10 to PC19 are the first 10 presets of the second channel, and so on and so on. We'll set up the MIDI controller to switch between PC4, the fifth preset on the first channel, and PC14, the fifth preset on the second channel. This will be my high gain tone and my clean tone. Now CC messages are all programmable using the MIDI tab in Amped Icon. So for this one, I've set up CC1 to control the delay on and the reverb on, and CC2 controls the noise gate. I've set up my MIDI controller to have CC1 and CC2, and then engaged it in the options menu. Let's have a play around with this and see how it works and how it sounds.
So there we go, there is my full run through of Amped Icon. Thank you so much for sticking through to the end and checking out Amped Icon with me. Hopefully I'll be doing some more plugin demos in the future, so be sure to let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see me cover.